Following on from the previous video, we were trying to integrate this. We were trying to integrate this. In the previous video, we used the partial fractions method, and then we got to the answer. In this video, we're going to, we're going to use trigonometric substitution to integrate this and then compare the two answers. Okay, so let's start. So we are trying to integrate this. We are trying to integrate this. So you, your eyes should zoom into this bit. Create a triangle in such a way that this thing will be true. So, uh, so if you make uh, the hypotenuse to be x, the adjacent to be 1, then the opposite will have no choice but to be root x squared minus 1. So, uh, so we, we are trying to extract this. Well, if you look at this, um, tan is this. So tan theta equals the square root thing over the adjacent over 1. So, so tan theta equals this, but we want to extract this. So, so from here, square both sides, that will then give you this. So now you've got this, which is exactly the same as this. So we can put 10 squared into this thing here. Now, looking back at the diagram, uh, we need to extract dx. So dx, we've got to look at secant theta equals um, hypotenuse over adjacent, which is x. Um, and then from here, um, differentiate both sides. That will then give you this. Now we've got dx. So we can put this whole thing into the dx. That will then that will then uh, that will then give us this whole thing here. And then uh, we put this into here. That will then give us this thing here. Now simplify. So uh, so this we cancel out with this. Um, so so that will then lead us to. Uh, to, uh, to here. So whenever you have a mixture of secant and tan, break up everything in terms of cos and sine. So for example, we, we are basically trying to tidy this up. So secant would be 1 over cos, and then you've got your divide, you've got your divide, and then tan, tan is sine over cos. So now, uh, now that's the same as you multiplying by the reciprocal, so that, so that would be cos, theta, sine, theta, and then these two will cancel each other out, leaving you 1 over sine theta, leaving you 1 over sine theta. And then uh, that 1 over sine theta is uh, cosecant, is this thing here. And then when you integrate this, and we've done this many times, so by now I'm expecting you to be able to integrate this thing here. So when you integrate this thing, we've done this many times, it actually gives you this. So I'm asking you to accept, to be able to accept this. So from here, integrate this, it will then give you this. So this is our answer, but we, we don't want the answer in terms of theta. We've got theta here. So going back to our original diagram, this was our original diagram. Let's translate it. Secant theta, uh, sorry, cosecant. Cosecant would be this. So cosecant would be um, hypotenuse over, uh, over opposite. So it would be hypotenuse over opposite. And then cotangent, cotangent would be this. Cotangent would be one over this thing here. Would be one over this thing here. So, uh, so translating it will then give you this. And then same denominator, same denominator. So you can merge them. So, uh, so that will then give you this. Now let's compare the two solutions. So in the previous video, in the previous video using uh, using fractions, um, we it, it gave us this answer here. And then using trigonometric substitution gave us this answer here. So now let's compare the two answers. Okay, so, so get a graph plotter and plot this and plot this. So this is the thing that we're trying to integrate. This is the thing that we're trying to integrate. We are trying to integra integrate this. Notice that um, notice that um, notice that that um, it breaks down dead on negative one and positive one. So, uh, so it breaks down because this is equal zero. Well, just just bear, bear that in mind. It breaks down dead on negative one and one. So now let's compare the two solutions. So remember, um, using the fraction method gave us this. Using trigonometric um, substitution gave us this. So now let's compare the two. So, um, so comparing the two. Hang on. So comparing the two. So this here is the um, the trigonometric method. Um, so, so, so notice that um, well, 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 this here is a trigonometric uh, method. Now let's look at this one here. Let's look at this method. So hang on, looking at this method. This method gave us this. 
You see, this method here, the uh, diffraction method, is um, is better because it, it gives us the the solutions in in this in this when, when x is less than less than one. But the trigonometric is undefined is uh, is undefined for for less than in the region where x is less than one. So hang on, look, looking look hang on, let's start again. Sorry, uh, looking at this thing here, it, it it's uh, it's undefined for for x less than one, and then looking at uh, at this method here, is is defined everywhere except from, is defined everywhere except from um, negative one and one. So um, so the, the the point here is that um, the point here is that uh, bear in mind uh, when you use trigonometric substitution, um, uh, that, that there are some restrictions. So, uh, so for this one, there, 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 there's no restriction. For this one, there is restriction. Um, the, the, the restrictions are x, x cannot, x cannot be less than uh, less than one. The reason for that is, um, well, if you look at this here, if if you look at this bit here, if if x is less than one, um, then then you're you're going to square root a negative number, which uh, which which is not possible. And let's let's try and understand why again here. Uh, x cannot be less than one because if you look at the triangle when when you use trigonometric substitution, if you look at this triangle, the hypotenuse cannot be less than less than the adjacent because it's a right angle triangle. So the hypotenuse must always be bigger than uh, than one. But but the uh, but it's it's everything else is perfect beyond beyond um, beyond beyond uh, beyond one and negative one. So if you look at this here. Everything else, all, all the regions around here, they're, they're, they're perfect. Look, they're, they're perfect. It's just, it's just, it's just within here that that um, that this method is more superior than the trigonometric substitution method. So, so just bear that in mind. When you use trigonometric substitution, there are some restrictions. So it depends on the problem that you're you're trying to solve. So just bear that in mind. There are some restrictions here. Uh, this one here seems to work perfectly. Okay, just so just bear in mind that there are restrictions when you come to use trigonometric substitution. Okay.